Hi, welcome to part three of using Roo to measure analog audio gear. So I know I said just a second ago that we would measure distortion this time, but as I was setting up for that, I realized there's a really important step to do first, which is to calibrate Roo for the actual analog level that your interface is putting out. So. As you may or may not know, um, in the computer we use a certain dB system called dBFS, dB full scale, which does not correspond at all to the systems we use in the analog world, which are dBU, dBV, etc. The analog ones reference certain voltages, and the digital ones just reference the kind of the absolute dynamic range that you can have given the number of bits you're using. But the big takeaway is that unless you tell a piece of software, okay, this is the voltage that this dBFS corresponds to, there's no correlation. So what we're going to do is measure the output from the interface at a certain level and then tell Roo what that is so that then we can be confident of the levels uh, that we're speaking the same language, basically. So um, I've got my line output four here that we were using before, and I've attached a female XLR to it um, because that is the easiest kind to, um, to put probes into. So. I'm probing pins two and three. Doesn't matter red and black which goes where. Uh, XLR pins are almost always labeled on the XLR. I'm going to set my meter to AC volts, which is this V with the squiggly line, and send a level out with the generator. So one kilohertz. Um, let's just pick any random dB full scale. Let's just do minus 12 since that's what we've been using up until now. Uh, and push play. So make sure you're getting a voltage on here. Cool. Looking good so far. Um, now I'm going to click calibrate level and enter that voltage. So 2.041. I push calibrate. Roo tells me, okay, based on that, this is the maximum and the minimum, or just the maximum that your interface can do. And now what's really cool is we can change the unit of this output and they're all harmonized. So now we know, oh, minus 12 dB full scale, that corresponds to 2.04 volts and 8.42 dBU, et cetera, et cetera which becomes really important measuring distortion because distortion is super dependent on the level. You know, that's why gain often means distortion because more level means more distortion. So let's just check our uh, calibration here by going to the most famous dBU level of all, plus four dBU, which is line level. Uh, that's nominal line level. Um, plus 4 dBU is 1.228 volts, uh, and we're getting 1.226 on the meter. So, man, that's great. Close enough for jazz. Uh, so now we are ready to move on to do distortion because we know exactly um, what level we'll be giving the gear when we measure it. So stick around for that next.